Emily, thank you for coming in for this little meeting. Um, I didn't let you know beforehand, but this will be a disciplinary meeting. Okay, you can't do that, Karen. If it's a disciplinary meeting, I need notice. Emily, I do not have time for you to come at me with your fake rules and regulations. Hmm, yeah, that very fake national employment law. Anyway, let's get started. Do you remember when we hired you, Emily, and all of the things you agreed as an employee of the pub? What were they? Okay, as much as I'd love to be in here for two hours going through every possible thing I could have done wrong that you've made up in your head, why don't you just tell me what your problem is, Karen? Employer to employee, just talk to me with a little bit of respect. Maybe we can work through this issue. I don't have high hopes though. I would just like to remind you, Emily, that when we took you on, you told us that your availability was full time. Do you remember that? Do I remember? Of course I remember that, Karen. You didn't give me full-time hours for months. I was on maybe 16 a week and then suddenly you were giving me 80 and it was getting ridiculous. Well, see, this is what I mean, Emily. Like, you can't be angry with us giving you 80 hours when you explicitly said you were full-time. Full-time is 40, Karen. Four zero. Not 80. Not any of the other random numbers you've made up in your head. 40. See, again, making up these rules and regulations, why would full-time only be 40 hours, Emily? Full-time is full-time. Fully flexible 24-7. Obviously. There's no one over there. What? So, moving forward, Emily, if we're giving you 80 hours, I don't expect to be hearing you complaining, okay? You promised us full-time availability. Okay. How many hours do you work a week, Karen? That's none of your business, Emily. I am your manager. Now get back on the floor. We're done with this meeting, okay? Goodbye, goodbye. That's what I thought. 40 a week it is, Karen. Emily, no, full time. Yeah, exactly. 40. 